make this for you. I 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 make this for you. What up, people? It's your homie, Big Sam. If this is your first time listening to Big Sam Presents Raw, well, let me just say thank you, baby. I appreciate you stopping on by. Welcome to the circus. That's right. This is Big Sam Presents Raw, the circus. The mostest unorganized, unscripted podcast you can find coming out of the beautiful city of Grovetown, Georgia. That's right. I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw. I make this for you. Yeah, I am today <laughs> a one-man motherfucking show. You got damn right, huh? Hold the fuck up. I feel like I'm already shifting into a zone I don't really want to be in this early in the morning, huh? Let me shut up myself. How y'all doing out there? Feeling good? Are you relaxed? Are you resting? You taking it easy? Just checking on y'all. Because you motherfuckers don't talk to me. (laughs) This is goddamn Big Sam Resents Raw. I'm here smoking on some sour diesel weed. How last night and how it went. It was a cool night. It was a cool night. I went to a tribute concert, a tribute show, uh, paying respect to homage to Erica Badu. Now, how this all transpired, I saw a, I saw a flyer on Facebook with an artist by the name of Angel Brown. Angel Brown is a vocalist. A artist out of Aiken, South Carolina, and uh, she often sings with a band called ATL Dream Vision. And from time to time, I've subbed in, sat in with them. Way out of my element. When I tell you way out of my goddamn element, now this shit getting a lot better because, you know, I've been practicing this shit. But that shit was way out of my goddamn element. But it was cool as a motherfucker. So, um, uh no, before I started playing playing in the band, I used to shoot video of uh the band. And I noticed that it wasn't shit. I couldn't find nothing uh up to date of um Angel singing and I never really heard them promote Angel. So I just was trying to like I had some ideas on promoting artists and shit. So I was trying to try different things, whatever. So I got into videoing and stuff. And she was the very first artist that I was consistently started to record video of or whatnot. And not one time, when I tell you not one time to till this day, till this day, bruh, 
Not one time has this young lady ever complained or said, nah, you need to take that bullshit off. Not once. Never. Not once. Like, that shit, that's, that, she had every right to. She has a brand. She has a following. She's worked her butt off. She's built something for herself. And I'm just starting out on some bullshit. She had every right to, but not one time. That's some um, dope ass shit. I recognize shit like that. So <clears throat> anyway, so as a musician, musician, music from uh, musician from musician, creative to creative, I've always had a respect, uh, an admiration for her artistry. Right. So I saw on Facebook that it was gonna be a tribute show. It was no first. It was Phase Phase Three Hundred and Sixty tribute show. And I was like, okay, cool. I ain't going to that shit. So I already knew off the top of the head I wasn't going to that shit because I don't fuck with that dude from um, Phase 360. You know what I'm saying? He do, he live in his world. I live in my world. But we're going to get to that. We might get to that. I don't know, God damn it. We're going to see how this shit rolls on today because after all, God damn it. Is Big Sam Presents Raw. I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw. When I say raw, that motherfucker is a raw dog. Matter of fact, Let's go ahead and pause for the calls and have a word from our um, goddamn sponsors, motherfuckers. Hi, would you like to sponsor this show? You have the ability to sponsor Big Sam Presents Raw and or Shit Talk. I don't give a goddamn. You could pay me $100 a month or... $50 a week or $250 every two weeks. Regardless, it don't even matter. If you want to sponsor this show, you can. Let me know. I'm Big Sam and you got the opportunity to sponsor this show. This show, goddammit, this one. Are you not entertained? Fuck you, because I wasn't trying to entertain you. Bye, bitches. Did you know Big Sam Presents is available on iHeartRadio? That's right. You can put iHeartRadio in your internet browser and or download the app and look up Big Sam Presents with the Z at the end of Presents, and you will be able to listen to my podcast now available streaming on iHeartRadio. Take your ass to iHeartRadio and subscribe to my damn podcast. I appreciate you, baby. was all up in the damn groove of the song shout that was ae the cool i apologize for that shit being so fucking loud it's gonna happen one more time in a few minutes but back to what the hell i was goddamn saying so then what had happened was <laughs> what had happened was i got an invitation from someone and I was like, because eh, yeah. again, I ain't want, I ain't want to support the dude that was putting the shit on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to support him. I don't, I don't care for that dude vibe. The, the very few interactions I've had with him, I don't care for his vibe. And then what the fuck he said last night? I was, I'm sitting here like, 
this nigga got yo i at the end at the end of the day i guess i got to show a little kind of respect that you got the balls to say some shit like that hold on y'all my goddamn sound oh, yes son can you make you something to eat Why don't you eat a sausage, dog? And then when we leave, we'll get you something else to eat. Would that work? You gonna go uh, hang out with your cousins while I have a meeting? Remember? Because I have a meeting. And you can't be here by yourself, son. Family. You gonna chill with your cousins for a short period, for just a couple hours, like three hours. It won't be all day long. You gonna have fun. You're not going to sleep there, boy. Let's go make you a sausage dog and close my door. Stop acting like that, boy. Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. Condoms? God damn it. <laughs> Them motherfuckers is imperative. God damn. Oh, man, I love my son. He is something else that boy there is something else all right what the hell was i talking about oh yeah that what that motherfucker said last i said god damn this nigga boy i tell you what these augusta cats boy they when they when they with the shit they come straight to you with the shit sometimes anyway moving forward god damn it all right so then (laughs) uh (laughs) oh shit (laughs) So I hit up the homie. I looked at the flyer and I saw it was uh, Angel was on it, and she hit me up and asked me. Uh, no, she's she's yeah, she hit me up saying I should come or whatever. So I was like, you know what? Um, I really want to hear Angel Brown with some more musicians, like with some different musicians than what she's normally than what I've normally heard her with. So I said, what the heck? I got my camera back. I got the invitation from. Um, uh, <clears throat> shit! What the hell happened then? Okay, I got my camera. <laughs> wow! I make this for you. Is Big Sound presents Raw. I make this for you. So I'm thinking, all right, I got my camera back. I got the invitation from Gold Stacy. Got the invitation from Angel Brown. The homie Michael Musicated Sullivan was on the ticket. He hella dope. That dude, his artistry, man, he take you through a fucking, whoo, that shit is, I don't know how to explain that shit. If you, if you are a vibrational, if you are, if you are a person that is like in tune with your vibration and shit, with how you feel and stuff, he going to take you on a journey. He going to take you on the journey. You know what I'm saying? And then they also had A.E. the Cool. Now, A.E. the Cool. We just gonna leave it like that. She's cool. She, she's a unique artist. She's a very unique artist. Very, 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 very unique artist. I reached out to her last year. Trying, uh, was trying to show love and support. And that much, you know, it was cool. Seen her a couple weeks ago. Same doggone thing. And I was like, nah, you know what? I'm good on that. <laughs> You dope, you hella dope, you hella dope, but I ain't with that. I'm, I'm, I ain't kissing nobody ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I was accused of that shit. Let me get the fuck on with what the hell I'm talking about, because obviously I'm rambling about some bullshit. Now, so fast forward. <clears throat> Yesterday was a very interesting day. Um. My intentions were to chill and then go to the show. But it didn't work out that way. But we made it to the show. Get to the show. Right. Well, first of all, let me back up. God damn it. (laughs) Fucking this story all up. Uh, Fucking this story all up. Fucking this story all up. Fucking this story. Fucking this story all up. Fucking this story, y'all. Fucking this. Fucking this. 
fucking this story all up. Fucking this, 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 fucking this story all up, fucking this story all up, fucking this story all up, ah, fucking this story all up. Damn, I lost the groove. Shit, I'm gonna try to uh. Sing and play drums at the same damn time. But, oh, yeah. God damn it. Before I finish that story, I was sitting in that motherfucker last night, uh, listening to that damn show and shit. I thought to myself, damn, I want to throw myself a birthday party. Well, I've been thinking about that. I have not pulled the trigger on it because I ain't got no goddamn friends, for one. And two, I can't afford, I should say I can't. I'm not convinced I want to spend the money that it's going to take to do it the way I want to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I want a band, a tight, tight fucking band. I don't want nobody goddamn wondering what's next, what key we in, when's the break, none of that shit. When the music starts, keep that motherfucking rolling for an hour and a half. Don't stop that shit. You might have some instruments drop out, but keep the music rolling. I don't want to hear nobody tune in and none of that shit. God damn it. And the background vocalist, every last one of them motherfuckers better be goddamn hitting every fucking note. Don't be chasing shit on stage. We ain't playing Kentucky Windage. (laughs) No, I ain't taking a shot at nobody. I'm just telling you. My goddamn standards. I don't want that shit sounding like church service. <laughs> I don't want that motherfucking band sound like praise and worship team at your local goddamn Baptist church. <laughs> no, no. I want the vocalists sounding like goddamn uh, Tasha Cobb singers and shit. <laughs> I want my shit to flow. We're going to mix music, comedy, and poetry and skits. Damn it. A full fucking show. Unfortunately, it's taking a long ass time to build relationships with the creatives that can make it happen. Shit, I don't even know who all could make the shit happen. But, God damn it. I'm trying. So, that's why I ain't got them throw myself no damn birthday party. But, Moving forward to the show. Moving forward to the do. I was supposed to have cut grass this morning, but I told the home. I said, look, bro, I can't do it this morning. God damn it. Besides, I'm about to go. Uh, I got a meeting at. Shit. What time did she say? Hold on. Okay. At noon. All right. Cool. Up. Uh, now I got to check my goddamn Facebook messages after I get off this podcast so I ain't in no bad mood. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, shit, man. I'm, I'm so glad people are not inside of my head. <laughs> like people can't hear my thoughts because them shits, damn, them shits be scaring me. <laughs> Not scaring me, but be shocking me like, damn, bro, why the hell are you thinking that shit, partner? But, you know what? I'm doing all this, talking all this shit. I need to be uh rolling the blunt. Let me tell you, I'm using some Swisher Sweets right now. Oh, these shits are so disgusting. I've been on them game nappers. Oh, shit, I got one right there. Come on, ram in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, if you go to a black gospel church, God damn it. <laughs> a lot of the references and sayings and um, spurts of, um, what's that shit called? Uh, that, motherfucker is, that motherfucker got Tourette's, yeah, all that shit. It's derived, come on somebody, amen, from the training of the mini, mini, mente, yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Growing up in the church of God in Christ. Come on, somebody. It's all up in my goddamn system. 
So right now I'm about to uh, pause this shit and um, bust this blunt and flush it on the toilet. So while I do that, this shit's about to get very, very fucking loud. But we're going to listen to A.E. The Cool. I'll be back. on drums Oof. Lord have mercy that dude is oh. that man be making me want to just quit my life <laughs> like god damn nigga tote no hurry to that shit that man be making that drum set talk but uh so back to the damn show from last night. I think this damn shit I'm smoked me a good goddamn gram by now. I'm rolling me another one real quick. I think I'm kind of starting to cool off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But um, the show last night. You know what I realized? Like right now, I cannot talk and roll a damn blunt at the same time. <laughs> Multitasking failure. Chronicles of Big Sam rolling his blunts. Um. So I went and picked up uh. Gold Stacy. And uh. Shit, get in there, motherfucker! God damn! I'm gonna have to find me somebody that can roll me some blood. Nah, you gonna sit in front of me. You ain't finna be tricking my shit. God damn it, you motherfuckers out here. It's weird. <laughs> Y'all some damn weirdos. You trying to drug people and 
get him all fucked up and hooked on some bullshit. I don't want no fucking waka. <laughs> and I ain't finna be doing that cocaine and weed shit. Hell to the no. Y'all keep that bullshit in Florida. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> all right. So. Went with Gold Stacy. Picked her up. I said, God damn. Shit. <laughs> That motherfucker cleaned up well. <laughs> God damn. That motherfucker. Look here, man. It's something about a fully dressed woman that knows how to be fully dressed. And what's the word? Accentuate. Is that the word? I think it is. Accentuate her features. I'm trying. I'm, I'm thinking something and I'm not sure if I'm communicating it the way I'm thinking that shit. But. God damn it, let me lick this fucking blunt. Huh? Oh, shit. God damn it. And, uh, she was looking very, very attractive. And I was very, very shocked because it ain't been looking too good for me. (laughs) Been trying to figure out what the hell or how the hell to work together. Um, we got we have a we have a unique creative chemistry, and just trying to figure out how to make that shit work with our personalities and our uh, fire signs and all this other shit. And it hasn't been the most easiest on my end to do. Um, so, uh, pause. God damn it. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Got me another hog leg rolled up. Well, I tell you, I'd be struggling with these goddamn blunts, but shit, this motherfucker be smoking. This shit right here I'm smoking, it creep up on you, man. Now, this shit I had last time, whew. This cu- no, 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 a couple times ago. Oh, man. That shit was, uh, That shit was life. You know what I'm saying? All right, so. I looked at that motherfucker. I said, God damn, shit. I already knew. God damn it. <laughs> Keep your eyes forward. <laughs> so we pull up in the spot and shit. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was packed. <laughs> Before I even got there, that motherfucker was packed. When I tell you packed, that motherfucker was packed. Walk up in that motherfucker. Pay my little money. Scan the room real quickly. Like when I say quickly, I ain't process no faces. That's how quickly I scan the room. I just saw, oh shit, this bitch is packed. I'm not feeling this already. I'm really not feeling this shit. I got a lot of issues, social issues, man. I don't like being around. I don't like people touching me when I'm trying to be by myself. I'm trying to goddamn chill, you know? But then there's times where it's like, oh, I know you. I want to speak to you, but I don't know you that goddamn well. <laughs> I'm socially awkward. I can I can walk in a room, don't say shit to nobody, go to my spot, do what I got to do, and leave. And, and, and won't have a, a grudge against anyone in that motherfucker. I just don't like, I like to mind my goddamn business. But... When that young lady walked through the door, I said, oh, shit. I recognize this shit. Well, goddamn. All right. Fuck it. Let's run with it. So we walk in. Now, several years ago, <laughs> when I was in Clarksville, Tennessee, goddammit, you couldn't tell me shit right after I got back from Iraq before I started having all of my damn surgeries. And I had my goddamn, uh, profile so i could didn't did not have to shave i had my beard 
I was way, way, way small. People talk about myself, oh, you look like Mace. You look like Mace. Girl, I don't look like no fucking Mace. I look like goddamn sexual chocolate. Though back then I was going off the alias Devon Jaquez. But uh, I had many aliases. So, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, back in Clarksville, man, I go to the club locally. Man, it take me damn near 45 minutes to go from the front door to the bar because I'm getting stopped that many times from people. Oh, whatever that is. Showing me love, blah, 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 blah. Ladies trying to dance with me, da, 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 woo, woo. Nah, it wasn't like that last night. Hell no, nah, I'm a nobody in this goddamn town. I like it, man. I like playing. I like being low-key under the radar right now, just for right now, goddamn it. But, come on, somebody. <laughs> somebody say, but, but. <laughs> When that motherfucker walked in the room, I'm like, shit, what the hell wrong with y'all niggas? Why everybody got that turning around looking at this motherfucker? And then I turned and looked at the motherfucker. I said, oh, shit, I see why. The goddamn light hit her just right. Come on, somebody. How many of you know that sometimes the sun will shine on you just right? Amen. <laughs> so ain't it ain't a fucking the way. I couldn't even get in the goddamn dope. She was getting bum rushed with a whole bunch of love and shit, right? Cool. Let me slide around. Ooh, maneuver this way. Weave over here. Cool. I asked her, yo, where you want to sit at? And to be honest with you, I really wasn't, like, planning on sitting with her. You know, I just was kind of doing my own fucking thing. But like I said, I'm going to try to play it cool. She was like, oh, we sit over here. I was like, all right. It was too crowded. Too fucking crowded for me. So I seen some VIP tables. Shit, that's more my speed. How much them VIP tables? Oh, they just fifteen more dollars. Okay, I want to get one. All right. God damn, I spent seventy five fucking dollars. <laughs> How the hell I go from fifteen more dollars <laughs> to having to cough up an additional forty five? God damn. <laughs> But I tell you one damn thing, I don't mind paying for my comfort. Shit. I want to be comfortable. So we pull up in the damn VIP table. Walking through. Shit. I'm processing my goddamn insecurities because I'm so used to being able to walk in a room. Don't nobody pay me no fucking attention. But with that motherfucker, people be looking at that goddamn woman. Shit. I just felt like motherfuckers was looking. Maybe I'm goddamn insecure about walking through the goddamn room, but shit, it felt like I was getting looked into that and cussed out <laughs> at the same damn time. So anyway, moving forward, get the booth, sit down. She was like, you want something to drink? I was like, nah, hell no. Nah. Shit, no. Drinking made me violent. Violent. So the show starts A to Cool, which I just heard uh, doing a thing. Show goes. We at the VIP booth next to the fucking bathroom. The B- VIP table is literally between the fucking DJ booth this uh, entrance to the backstage, the female bathroom, and the goddamn bar. When I tell you traffic, oh my goodness! I said, "Look, I started to tell this one lady, look here, baby, that ain't that much goddamn powder in the whole CSRA. How many times you gotta powder your nose, girl? Your bladder, if your bladder is that weak, young lady, you need to keep your ass at the house." Lord have mercy. And it was a whole bunch of traffic coming on through there. Ugh. And then these motherfucking people walk by and look at y'all weird and shit. Like, go on about your goddamn business. I couldn't even damn get in my element and dance. Well, part of the reason why I didn't want to get my element and dance because, goddamn, anyway. It was hot as hell's nutsack. <laughs> It wasn't that damn hot. It was hot as a motherfucker now. I'm sitting there thinking like, hold on now. All these chocolate folks 
Why ain't the AC on 20? <laughs> you know black folks attract heat. Come on, man. It was 102,000 people in that room. And the, this man, I don't even think they turned the AC on last night. <laughs> The goddamn drinks was hot before you could drink them shit. The ice was melting and shit. <laughs> I'm talking shit. I don't even know. I ain't drink nothing. I couldn't even get a goddamn water. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. But it's all good. I'm going to continue showing love to these damn creators of Ground the CSR. Right? <laughs> Man, I'm sitting here like, I'm just listening and observing and watching and observing and listening with my eyes. And seeing with my ears, I'm like, holy shit, right before my eyes. Cool, that's what's up. So, should I tell the story of this young man's birthday, the dude that put on the birthday party, that put on the damn event, his birthday event tribute show? Or should I just get off this motherfucker, read what the fuck was said, and go from now? <laughs> That shit had me. I, man, I was thinking about that shit all night. You got to be kidding. This nigga, did this dude really just say this? Did he really just say this? And, it, and but then this morning, I'm, I'm thinking like, I, I mean, I guess I got to respect the fact that you just bold enough to just say some shit like that. Cool, but <laughs> now I sound like Social Boy Drake, Drake, but. <laughs> But <laughs> nah, man, that shit. Uh, uh-uh, uh, man, I don't know, man. I just can't come back for that shit. Not right now. It's gonna take some time. God damn it, that shit. Woo, that shit fucks me up. I said this. The wow, that motherfucker. Straightforward. I tell you what, man. You got some big balls to, to think you just that damn bold to just demand me for some shit. Woo. Let me goddamn get off this motherfucker. Overall, minus this dude <laughs> and being at that fucking bathroom, <laughs> the night was pretty damn dope. It was a pretty damn dope night. I almost fell and embarrassed myself, god damn it. I was recording a video and was backing up, and I knew there was some subwoofers behind me. But, god damn it, I didn't remember that was that, and I ran into that motherfucker but i held my balance look here if i would have failed i don't know how i would have played that shit out like fuck it <laughs> put that shit on the goddamn youtubers youtubers it was a good night though it was a cool night musically well jamal uh, damn why am i fucking this man name up jamal uh, jamal played kick that dude it's always a pleasure to hear that man uh, get on that drum set and work. Shocked the shit out of me. Didn't know he was going to be playing. That, that shocked the shit out of me. But it was good. So, had a good time. Got a uh, meeting here in a little while. And uh, I'm going to go from there. Spend a little time with my little man. Shit, I got to go to Costco too. God. Should I go to Costco? No, that's doing way too much. I'm not going to go way out of Costco, then go way out to Blythe, and then go way back out of Costco. I need to go to Blythe, then go to then go to my meeting, then go to Costco, then pick him up, come to the crib. Might even pick up my daughter, too. I might even do that. All right, y'all. Till next time. Love, peace, soul, grease, happiness, and um, whatever else. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get off here. We're going to have a great week. I got meeting this today at 12. Then I'm meeting uh, with uh, Most Elevated Dopeness Thursday evening. Um, slowly trying to build that relationship. I asked, I linked up with her to see if she would write for me. But I think, I'm not sure how it's going to transpire, but what I, I kind of have a I kind of foresee the more we hang out and uh, see how our creativity can work. Hopefully I can help with something like, I don't know. 
I think it's a way I, I might be able to help her with what she's trying to do and the things she want to do and stuff. So, um, and she also dope. Um, and oh shit, Tuesday over mic tomorrow night. Be playing drums by Melody Frazier. Gonna try this band shit situation out. We ain't rehearsed yet, but fuck it, we're gonna make it work. I got a lot of doubt about this band. I really, really do. I, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna perform or be on the kit or what. And I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. All right, I'm stop acting like a goddamn preacher and get the fuck up off of there. Peace out, bitches.